What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode. This is episode number 79 and today we are returning with a huge triple header with Aston Villa coming on the back of that 2-2 draw at home to 19th place Fulham where as we discussed in the last episode we are on right now the worst run of this series. We may be through to the FA Cup quarterfinals but right now we are struggling big time. We haven't won a Premier League game since the 16th of January when we beat Liverpool by three goals to nil and that's why right now we slid from top of the table to third place and six points off the new league leader Spurs with just 12 games to go. We are all over the place right now and today's games are absolutely massive. We've got Leicester away at the King Power Stadium first, then we've got Real Madrid in the second leg of our Champions League round of 16 tie after drawing 2-2 at the Bernabeu in the first leg and our third and final game is at home to the Welsh side Swansea as well. Plus we're going to find out the injury details of Christian Menteke after what happened in last game where he was uh, forced off early against Fulham. And it's an eight-week injury for Christian, one of our most consistent players in the series. Always gets us the goals when we need them. And now, we're going to be about the big Belgian beast for two months. He's going to miss the majority of the rest of the season. He'll be out until early May, late April time at best. Oh, when it rains, it pours for Aston Villa. A dislocated shoulder for Benteke. Our top scorer in the series, I do believe. Nothing is going right for Aston Villa right now. And we also have some tournament prize money here as well, as we've just seen that the FA Cup replay between Chelsea and Liverpool has been played. So let's find out who we've got in the quarterfinals of our FA Cup. We knocked out Spurs in the last round and our quarterfinal opponents are going to be... Oh, Liverpool. As Manchester City face Arsenal, Everton face Burnley, and Sheffield Wednesday play Southampton. Is that going to be at Villa Park, or is that going to be at Anfield? Uh, I think it might be at Anfield, is it? Let's find out. No, it's at Villa Park, as we take on last year's runners-up in a repeat of last year's FA Cup final. Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinals, and actually, I think it's going to be next week, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it is. So actually today what we've got is Leicester away, Real Madrid at home, and then Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinal as well. Three massive games today in three different competitions. First one's Leicester. Let's get to it. So we are without Mirinchuk, we are without Benteke, and without a win in almost two months in the Premier League. And for our first game of the big three today, we are indeed away from home at the King Power Stadium as we take on the 2015-2016 champions, Leicester City. And this will not be an easy place to get back to winning ways in the league. Uh, Leicester are now sitting in 10th place, lining up in a 4-4-1-1 with one of our former players, Carlos Heel, playing as the cam. But for our team, back to the three at the back. I was playing four at the back in the last game and it simply didn't work. And our strongest possible lineup without the Russian Mirinchuk. God knows we need a win. It's going to be a tough place to get one. But right now, six points beyond league leaders, 12 games to go. It's safe to say any chance of getting back in this title race has to start here with the three points. Come on, Aston Villa. I just don't know what's going on right now. We cannot get our form sorted in the Premier League at all. One win since the start of the calendar year and we just we can't beat anyone at the moment and I said in the last episode our title dreams are over after our 2-2 draw against Fulham not necessarily they certainly will be if we don't win this one Martin is on the ball steps inside looks for a little bit of space finds it Maguire blocks the first shot the second shot beaten away by Kasper Schmeichel and Tagliafico clears you know one of the problems we're having as well is that the goalkeepers we're facing right now are on fire every single game it's so frustrating but 28 minutes in good to get the first shot on target but still goalless Let's get the first goal. Gnabry to Martinez. Down the left-hand side has Jemison to beat. Cuts inside. Rolls it across. Gnabry. Grealish. Yes! Jack Grealish with the finish. And that is what we needed. Less than nil. Aston Villa won. And the Russian might be out. But Jack is filling in and doing a pretty decent job of it. Half an hour in. And my word, did we need an early goal today. Well, it's not necessarily early. But it's in the first half. We'll take it. Serge rolls it across. Jack is there. Nice first touch. And a finish. Rip past the Dane. And into the top corner. Come on, Aston Villa. This is the game. We get back in this title race. Agliafico. Long ball for Leicester. Header clear by Socrates, and it'll drop clearance. kindly to Jack Grealish, and out wide is Ross Barkley. And maybe a chance here for a quick counter-attack. It's real off the bench finding Martinez. Martinez back out wide to Barkley. Barkley. 
Barkley on the ball. Back heels to... Well, not back heel, but I tried to back heel. He'll, he'll drop to Martinez anyway. Who crosses? Brewster! Oh, yes! Rian Brewster makes it 2-0 and says, put me in the team, war boss, especially in the absence of Christian Menteke. Boy, him off the bench. Martinez with the assist and Brewster volleys it past Michael for our second goal. And our defence may have been horrific this season with 29 minutes to go. Unless Leicester can score twice, we're getting just our first Premier League win since January the 16th against Liverpool. Come on Aston Villa, this is the response we needed after such a horrific run of form. We are into stoppage time and it looks like we are going to claim a massive victory in a must win game as we still lead by two. Kasper Schmeichel comes forward for this corner but even if they get a goal it should prove to be nothing other than a consolation. Stones heads it clear and Martinez will try and win it first, which he doesn't and Leicester try and keep the chance alive of grabbing a late goal but Tagliafico's shot is saved by Akadi and that should do it Aston Villa have won a game in the Premier League a long time coming none in our last 10 I do believe but a big victory here not 10 but close to that but a big victory here gives us the three points and you see what it means to the boys as well we are still in this title race Spurs we are still in this title race Man City we're going absolutely nowhere you best believe it this was a great defensive effort from Aston Villa and I have not said that much in the calendar year if at all but it was a really great rear guard display we shut the door on the fox as Akadi gets his first clean sheet in the Premier League since returning from injury and my man of match will go to John Stones as part of a back three who was absolutely brilliant but to be honest the whole back line deserves credit for a really really great display but Stones gets the champagne but more importantly Aston Villa get the three points. A massive victory and that relieves a lot of pressure and gives a lot of confidence heading into the Real Madrid game too. And just before that Real Madrid game, there is some good news as well because we've just seen that Mirinchuk has said he's ready to play if we need him. Uh, the physio says there's a slight risk of him aggravating the injury, but it feels okay to him in training, so he's raring to go. Question is, do we gamble it? Grealish scored in the last game against Leicester, played very well. Do we put Mirinchuk in? He's had a really good season for us. Or do we keep faith with Grealish for this game and make sure we don't exacerbate the injury of Mirinchuk? Big decision for our lineup heading into the Real Madrid game. And that's not the only one. A lot of tired legs out there. This is going to be a tough selection for me. So second of the big triple header today then. And we are now back home at Villa Park as we welcome Real Madrid in the second leg of our Champions League round of 16 tie after during the first leg 2-2. And knowing tonight, keep a clean sheet. And we're going through. Uh, so stick with the 3-5-2 after our victory at the King Power Stadium. No change to our back three or goalkeeper, of course. There's a couple of changes in midfield and attack. Rico Henry, who were really impressed at the Bernabeu and scored our first. We start on left-hand side of midfield with Toby Lewis and Tyler Adams at DM duo. Jack Grealish does get an on-head Mirinchuk, not going to exacerbate his injury. You want to keep him fit for the final few games. And it was got top together an interesting duo. Ben Brereton and Rian Brewster in really good form late. Deserves the nod ahead of, ahead of a really tired Martinez. But as for the Real Madrid team, uh, I think it's the same one as when we saw at the Bernabeu. 4 one 2 one 2 narrow with an incredible side featuring Mbappe and a mobile strike duo in, uh, sorry, in front of uh, the, the man of the match in the last game, James Rodriguez, who was unstoppable and scored that amazing goal as well. Man, oh man, if you uh, did miss that game as well against Real Madrid, uh, it was two episodes ago. And i got to say, that James Rodriguez goal is without question one of the best the AIs ever scored against me. It was extraordinary. Henry Brewster! Oh! What a start that would have been, and what a save from Navas. If we went 1 0 up right from kickoff, that would have been a dream here at Villa Park. Great cross by Rico, picks out Rian, and that is a fabulous save by the Costa Rican Kalor Navas. That's a brilliant stop. I think one thing that could really help us out tonight is starting for Bristio down the right hand side and Rico down the left. Both of those players are fullbacks by trade operating this free at the back system. And that should help us defend a little bit better here against this Real Madrid side. We know it's going to be tough to keep a clean sheet. Couldn't do it in Madrid. Can we do it tonight? Well, Immobile tests Akadi the there early. And 15 minutes in, both teams have had a shot on target. But go uh, both goalkeepers have made a save. Still 0 0. And to keep Real Madrid quiet for 90 minutes is going to be one hell of a tough test. Are we up for it? It. Rodriguez is header. Good save by Icardi. We need a big performance from the Italian tonight. Half an hour in, still currently tied at 0-0 and I'll take this result every day of the week because it will be sending us through to the Champions League quarterfinals as things stand. But keeping Real Madrid at bay for 90 minutes is one hell of a tough test. Can we do it? But that's great work from Bustos there. Won it back and finds Ben and Ben finds Brewster. Oh, Jack! Jack! 
Jack, 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 don't run behind, run in front, because you would have been through there, and Real Madrid have an escape, but we have looked good in this first half, and there's still a chance here, Grealish to Ben, he's outpaced Varane, now can he finish, Brereton to Nagoya Navas, but Bustos is there, and Fabricio Bustos makes it Aston Villa 1, Real Madrid nil, and with 6 minutes to go in the half, it was a big decision who played on our wide midfield areas today, but I went with Rico on the left, Fabricio on the right for their defensive work, but the Argentine says, that's what I can do at the other end of the Pitch, shot parried by Navas, but Bustos first to react, and the Argentine fires at home to give Zidane some heartache and us some heart relief. Aston Villa 1, Real Madrid 0, and a huge goal for Fabricio Bustos and the Villa. Come on! Heart relief? Is that a product for heartburn? I don't know. But either way, we're leading by one. What a big, big goal for us as Bustos turns in a rebound. And now as Rico storms forward, he scored at the Bernabeu. Could he do it again? Henry drills it just wide in the post. We like this kid a lot. We kept him here for a reason, turned down all the bids. Because whilst he's not a first team regular, when he does play in a first team, he's fantastic. Lewis, out wide to Rico Henry. And we are really ending this first half strong here. Rian gives it back to Rico. Down the left, crosses Grealish. Oh, it went across the face of the goal. And if Brereton was quick enough to react there, that could have been two. Whoopsie daisy. But as we lead by a goal, we enter half time. And right now, we are 45 minutes away from dumping out Real Madrid and progressing the quarterfinals. And unless the Galacticos can score twice, we're going to do so. Come on, Aston Villa. We are approaching the hour mark in the game, and we are still currently leading by one. But as this go turns, Tyler Adams Adam's a great chance here for the away side to get back in the game, and Akani beats away a Moble shot and says, Italian to Italian, you're not beating me tonight, as we still lead by a goal. Half an hour remaining, and whilst Real Madrid do need to score twice, we're taking nothing for granted. Our defensive run has been poor late, despite the clean sheet in the last game. We've got to stay tight defensively. We've got to see out this win. Fabricio Bustos, the goal score for Aston Hampton. Villa. Get Plays it back man. to John Stones. And Stones is going to whip it out wide towards Dale Fry. We can serve energy a little bit, take a breather and uh, assess what is going on right now. Aston Villa, as things stand, are knocking out Real Madrid in the Champions League round of 16 to show we are making some awesome progression with this team. And as Henry on the ball gets around Danny Carvajal. Oh, he's fired it wide. So close to two goals in two games against the Spanish Giants. And if he scored there, it may well have been over. 22 minutes to go. Almost there. Don't throw this away, lads. Come on. Cristiano Ronaldo off the bench for Real Madrid. Showing his quality. Finds Casemiro who fires it just wide. There is 12 minutes to go. And we are still leading by a goal. And as things stand, we're going through. But this is going to be the longest 10 minutes in Aston Villa history. Can we hang on to this big victory? Can we make the Champions League quarterfinals? Ben to Rian tackled. And here come the Spanish side again. Long ball over the top. Stones lost out to Ronaldo. It will drop to Casemiro. Back to Cristiano. Casemiro. Varane. Over the bar. Come on. Oh, referee, where is that final whistle? Where is that final whistle? One late chance for Real Madrid. But even if they score, it won't be enough. And that is going to do it. What a response from Aston Villa. A horrific run of form. But two massive victories in a row to start today's big triple header. And two clean sheets in a row as well. We beat Leicester to get back in the title race and then three days later knock Real Madrid out of the Champions League with a 3-2 aggregate scoreline over 180 minutes. Bustos' goal separates the sides on the night. Real Madrid are out and Aston Villa are into the Champions League quarterfinals. Come on! It was a really balanced game. It could have gone either way. But in the end, we were more clinical and that's why we get the win. Bustos turning in the rebound as Aston Villa claimed the victory and progressed to the Champions League quarterfinals finals for the first time under my management delighted with that and I'll give Man match the goal scorer and the game winner Fabricio Bustos played so well down the right hand side kept Real Madrid quiet when attacking down the left and of course scored that all important winning goal as well so that's it Real Madrid are out Aston Villa are through a huge victory and a huge couple of days for the Villa keeping ourselves in the title race progressing to the quarterfinals of the Champions League now Liverpool in the FA Cup quarters let's reach Wembley and complete a magic seven days
So after back-to-back -back clean sheets in back-to-back -back massive victories in two different competitions, we now face Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter-final in a repeat of last year's final, aiming to get back to Wembley in our bid to retain our trophy. 3-5-2 uh, is working for the time being, so of course we stick with it, making no change to our back three and goalkeeper after back-to-back -back clean sheets. But a couple of changes to our lineup. Martinez is back in for Brewster, and Mirinchuk will start in the cam roll for the first time since his injury. But as for the Liverpool team lining up in a 4-3-3 and it's a fantastic side and this will be a really tough team to beat if we are to make it to the semis, uh, including a front trio of Coutinho on the left, Mane on the right and Vieto, the striker today. Of course, I had to keep Fabricio Bustos in the lineup after his goal in midweek, but Gnabry back in the starting 11 because if you remember, uh, Wembley against Spurs, he played, I'll probably say his best uh, best game in Aston Villa shirt, bagging an assist and a late goal as well. So Serge out there, Bustos out there, a good wide midfield field duo and as Fabricio cuts inside first chance could fall early turns his man finds space to cross Butlin does enough and Brereton blocks the clearance but they will drop out of play for an Aston Villa throw and this is what I'm liking as well from Villa right now too we may have been out of form we're starting games off very quickly and Mirinchuk back in the starting and then was almost back on the score sheet Butlin with the save and then fists away the header from Gnabry and Sanson will clear this is so much more like it from Aston Villa where is this urgency being starting off games looking for early goals let's keep this going Sanson for Liverpool so they look for their first chance of the game and Sadio Mane just sent Serge Gnabry walking the wrong way as the former Southampton man keeps on going. He's got space to cross here if he wants to do so, but Gnabry tracks back to win the tackle, but only at the expense of giving away a corner where Liverpool could hurt us. Philippe Coutinho is going to deliver it and the Brazilian whips it in and there is Sanchez. First shot blocked, second shot in and just like we said, they could hurt us and they've done just that. The former Spurs defender gives Liverpool the lead and 31 minutes in, the Reds have gone in front. We may have won back to back. We may be back in the title race. We may be going through to the next round of the Champions League but we may be going out of the FA Cup. First shot blocked by Sanchez, second one drops in. Aston Villa nil, Liverpool won and we trail with 30 minutes to go in the first half. Liverpool out for revenge after we beat them in the FA Cup final last year and that's exactly what they wanted. A goal in the first half to take the lead and now we must respond and Brereton is tripped up by Gomez and there's a response right on cue, right from kickoff, Ben Feld and a penalty for Aston Villa. Just want to see that on the replay if I can because I think Gomez tripped Ben before he won the ball and he did indeed. He won the ball but only through coming from Ben and tripping up the former Forest striker so right decision from the referee and a chance for us to get back on double turns instantly. Surge is standing up to take it. But I think I'd rather let Ben take it in this situation. Uh, despite the fact that Gnabry has the better penalty stat rating. So I'll let Ben take it. I'm going to go to the left-hand side. Come on, Ben. We need the equalising goal. And Butland off. Oh. Oh. Butland went the right way. But couldn't keep it out. And Ben does put us back on level terms. Oh my, oh my, oh my. We could not afford to miss that. And we almost did. But it's 1-1 and there's the response. Got a feel for Jack Butland there. It is one of the most frustrating things in FIFA. When you dive the right, right way to save a penalty. The goalkeeper gets a touch. It's at a good height, but he still can't keep it out. The flex off the forearm into the roof of the net. Jack frustrated, but us elated. Back on level terms. Big response early. Come on, Villa. Of course, don't forget, no replays in the FA Cup quarterfinals nowadays. So... That means we'll head to extra time if this game does finish level as it is right now. But I don't see that happening. I see someone winning in 90 minutes. Who's it going to be? Well, as Mirinchuk's on the ball, he'll slide it through the gap. It's Martinez. Oh, Butler with a save. And Baba heads away the rebound. Martinez may have scored against Fulham, but the goals are drying up for Lautaro. Frustrating to see for our top scorer this season. But as we're still tied at 1-1, great way to end the first half. Getting back on level terms and now going in search of the goal to put us in front. So second half is about to get underway here at Villa Park. As we are still tied at 1-1 after a pretty balanced first half. I felt we were just slightly better team, but Liverpool played well too and deserved to get a goal and as things stand right now we've got one each as we begin this second half but we might get in front here Martinez missed a chance earlier but's not gonna miss that one Martinez his ears were burning and said boss I'm the top scorer for a reason don't criticize my goal scoring form because I'll get back on the score sheet soon and he's done it three minutes after the restart Martinez with the goal Aston Villa 2 Liverpool 1 and we've done what we did in the FA Cup final against these boys and came from behind to lead it's what we do lovely ball by Mirinchuk back in the team and Martinez with a finish gets us in front for the first time in the game. 
41 minutes to go. Can we hold on to progression to the FA Cup semi-finals to finish a magical week for Aston Villa? Come on! Sanchez into Baba. And he will find Philippe Coutinho down left-hand side. Dale Fry tries to get it off the Brazilian but can't. And Coutinho still on the ball. His mesmerising ball control finds Baba, who's got a lot of space here to bend one. Oh, what a goal. We have seen some fantastic goals from the AI in recent episodes. And Baba has just provided yet another one. The former Chelsea left-back, who is weaker right foot, has just bent one past the Cardi. And Liverpool are back on level terms in a classic here at Villa Park. Comes inside, finds the space. And what a finish past Luca. Aston Villa 2, Liverpool 2. Two, out of half an hour to go, don't go anywhere. We are set for a grandstand finish. Fantastic game this, and we can't stop conceding screamers at the moment. You know, we, we can we can criticise our poor defending of late all we like, but you gotta you gotta tip your hat to the AI. Some of the goals they've been scoring are truly legendary. As Stones finds Toby, and now Lewis finds Martinez, maybe chances to restore our lead pretty much instantly. Ben to Miranjuk. And Mirinchuk fires it wide. Should have made it 3 2. What a game this has been, though. Absolutely fantastic. And with 22 minutes to come, is there going to be a winner in normal time this afternoon? Stones heads it back to Akadi and does well. And we'll throw that wide towards Serge real quick. And we'll attack down the left hand side if we can. It's Serge trying to roll it through to Ben. That's a brilliant ball by Serge. Brereton should outpace Javi Martinez. Turns him. It's a man at the far post. It's Fabricio Bustos with the control and the finish off the crossbar. So close to two big goals in two big games off the woodwork. Still 2-2. Can either side progress to the semis before extra time? Roberto, long ball to Sanchez. And now Ings receives it for Liverpool. Over the top, Socrates away. Well done. And Ben flicks on. And Mirinchuk controls. And Martinez is released. Oh, the post from Lautaro twice. We've hit the woodwork and Liverpool escape once more. It's a late flurry of chances from the Villa, but we can't find a goal to win the game. Brereton, Mirinchuk. Oh, Martinez all alone. What's happened there? Martinez. Martinez. Martinez with a wonderful chip. And Aston Villa have surely done it. Once again, we hit the woodwork, but this time it clips the underside of the bar and goes in. And with nine minutes to go in a thriller here at Villa Park, that well may be the final goal of the five goals we've seen so far. Nine minutes to go. I don't know what happened there, but Martinez was totally onside. Who was that? Leaving him on, I'm not entirely sure. But Martinez ran through, dinks it over Butland, in off the underside of the bar. And it's Aston with a three, Liverpool two. A classic here at Villa Park. But that well may be the goal that sends us into the FA Cup semi-finals. What a match, what a moment, what a man Martinez is. Come on, Villa! One of the best games of the series, no question. Now, can Aston Villa close it out and make sure we're through to the semi? Sergi Roberto. What a save, Luca. This has been an absolutely brilliant game. Neither side deserves to go out, but one team has to. And as things stand, it's going to be Aston Villa that are making it through. Serge has done so well there to keep the ball in play. And slide it in. And Mirinchuk could secure it. Butland with the save. And Sergio Roberto should clear under pressure, which he does. But that should be the final whistle. And there it is. After a terrible, terrible start to the calendar year. What a response for Aston Villa. We beat Leicester away at the King Power Stadium to stay in the title race. We knocked Real out of the Champions League. And then seven days later, we beat Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter to reach Wembley once again, trying to retain our trophy. It's been an awful run, but maybe it's all over. Aston Villa 3, Liverpool 2. One of the games of the series, this, absolutely no question. What a thriller at Villa Park, where I felt we just about deserved to edge it, especially after a really late flurry of chances. We had the woodwork three times, lest we forget as well, but one of those times saw us get the game winner through Lautaro Martinez, who is my man to match. His first half of the season, sublime. Second half of the season, not quite as good. Good, but still proving he's our player of the season, bagging that brace and sending us through. Aston Villa back to Wembley. What a big win and what a big week for the Villa as we keep 
our very thin treble dreams alive against all odds. But that will end today's episode of Career Mode though, guys. And for the first time in a while, we're ending on a really positive note. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like as likes are, of course, very much appreciated. And it really helped channel out as well. Much love to you all. Hope you've had a fantastic weekend. And I will see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon, featuring the draw for the quarterfinals of the Champions League, the draw for the FA Cup semi-final as well, plus some more crucial games in the Premier League too.